Hey everybody, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today we are taking a look at all of the studio boosts in Godzilla Battle Line. A few weeks ago, I should say a month ago, when Ultraman came out, we got levels 1 through 20. Now we have levels 1 through 30. So I have gone through every single character. I have added every single one of these boosts, and they're also all viewable on the Pelops bot in the Discord server. So if you want to look through exactly what your character can get if you level them up, this is how you do it. We got skins on here. We got everything you could possibly think is on in the studio mode. We have it all cataloged here and we're updating it as we go. We have it all in alphabetical order until destroy a giant octopus at the bottom. They're the newest. That's just how we're going to go on from that point on. Now, what I want to talk about is the boosts. We made a video already on the channel talking about who gets the best boosts in each category. Uh, revenue, rush order, and star points. Okay, that was only levels 1 through 20, and I edited the title of the video to reflect as such. This is going to be levels 1 through 30, because there are changes. There are characters that have become better than other characters that were previously mentioned in those videos. So I'm going to go over them with you guys today, all right? We're going to go with gold first, then we're going to go to rush, and then we are going to go to, um, oh gosh, what is it called? The star points, okay? So first... How do we find what we're looking for in here? It's very simple. First of all, this Google Doc will be in the description. You go to this page. It just is labeled as Studio Boosts. You hit Control F and you type in REV for revenue, right? Bam, all this comes up. Previously, four, like four points of revenue, like Bailante was previously one of the top. One, two, three, four. That's what we were looking for, 20% boost. Burning Godzilla now is a 25% boost. One, two, three, four, five. 25% boost to revenue. Bailante has four. Burning Godzilla has five. And the Dorats, oh, not the Dorats, I'm sorry. Um, Destroy a Larva. Where is he up here? Yeah, right here. One, two, three, four as well. Destroy a Larva previously only had the one, right? And then post level, or maybe two, and then post level 20 and like two more, three more. So that's huge, right? We love it. We love to see it. So Burning Godzilla and Bailante, still very good for getting gold in the studio mode, but now also you have the option of putting up Destroy a Larva. So if you want to work on a Destroy a Synergy team for the arena, there you go. Uh, at the moment, it does not look like increasing Destroy a Larva's ranks in studio mode increases or affects at all the Destroy a Larva that the Destroy a Perfect form spawns when it dies. If that ever gets changed, I'll let you know, but at the moment... That does not look like it's the case. So don't go upgrading Destroy Larva thinking that you're also going to be benefiting your perfect form. I just wanted to put that out there. You can still upgrade them if you wanted to upgrade your revenue. But I don't think it's going to affect the perfect form at all. Alright. Let's talk about the rushes. There were a few rush champions that got pushed out. So let's type in rush. Oh gosh. Alright. Let's take a look. I saved this folder of images. Let's pop them on screen. Bam. Gigan 04. King Caesar and the Dorats. So let's go to the Dorats right here. One, two, three, four, five. Dorats get a 25% boost. Where's Gigan 04? One, two, three, four, five. Gigan 04 gets a 25% boost. And at level uh, 13, you're getting a 15% boost, which 15 was the previous maximum. Uh, but now at level 29, or thir or, yeah, 29, he's getting a total of 25%. Uh, and then King Caesar also down here. One, two, three, four, and five. Crazy. So the three of them are getting a 25% boost to the rush orders. Or, yeah, to the rush orders. I thought maybe I had miscounted, but I had gone back before this video started and I made sure each one of these characters had the correct number of things. And it is true that Dorats, King Caesar, and Gigano 4 all have uh, a 25% rush order at level 29. The, for all of these characters, the maximum level they need to be to get the highest boost, this is for any character to mention in this video, is 25. Gigano 4, I think in my opinion, is the best of these three, because at level 13 he gets the 15% boost. Meanwhile, at level 13 for the Dorats, it's only a 10% boost, and for King Caesar at level 13, it is a 10% boost as well. So... Gigan 4 out of these three is the best for the to upgrade period because you're going to get the most out of him faster than everyone else. All right, let's put him away. Let's talk about the ones that I really want to talk about. The star points. You know, having gold is fine, 
speeding up your expeditions is fine. The star points is how you're unlocking skins. It is how you're unlocking upgrades. Arguably, I think the star points is the most important factor in in um, studio mode. I forgot the name. In studio mode, arguably the most important factor. Let's see who has the most. I mean, I already know who has the most. I'm just going to type it in to show you. Bam. Giant Octopus and Des Ghidorah. Let's go find Des. I don't remember where he is on the top. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-five percent star boost. Does Ghidorah get only had a five percent boost level four, and bef and then uh, he got a level ten percent boost at nineteen. Not very good before the update. Now post level twenty at levels twenty-three and twenty-seven and twenty-nine, he gets an extra fifteen percent, which is cracked. Right, that is going to be very very strong. Let's go look at Giant Octopus. Giant Octopus at level four. Only 5%, level 19, 10%, but then just like Desigador, 23, 27, and 29, 15 extra percent. It is cracked out. Very, very good. Both of these two characters are getting a 25% increase to the star points you are earning. Now, there are some characters that I believe have four uh, somewhere in here, and I didn't include them. Maybe not. I think maybe the most after that is three. So yeah, they're all getting a 25% boost. Everyone else at maximum is only going to be getting a 15% boost. So upgrading... Um, oh no, hold on. Mecha King Ghidorah has a 20% boost. Okay, so Mecha King Ghidorah, Des Ghidorah, and Giant Octopus. Giant Octopus and Des Ghidorah being the best. Mecha King Ghidorah being a, a second. Very good. I feel justified upgrading my Giant Octopus as high as I have. I have him at 27 in the studio mode. I am rushing him. I am bum-rushing this freaking octopus man all the way to the top and i'm getting a ton of star points for it so i feel i feel justified damn it but um i'm loving it i'm loving the studio mode i'm loving these upgrades i'll do a video later that is like separate calculations for the damage and movement speed and hp i was supposed to do that for levels 1 through 20 but uh now that we actually have the true values the 1 through 30 i don't have to make a second video like i did with this one so i will gather all that information at some point maybe today but that's all I got for you. That is, again, the best uh, star point gains is Giant Octopus and Desgador at 25% and Mecha King Ghidorah at 20%. The best rush orders is Gigan, King Caesar, and Dorats at a total of 25% each, but Gigan getting a 15% starting at level 13. And then for best revenue is Burning Godzilla, Destroy Larva, and Biolante, with Biolante and Destroy Larva getting a 20% revenue boost, but Burning Godzilla getting a 25% revenue boost. Okay? That is that. Remember that for when you're upgrading your characters. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you find this informative, and I will catch you all in the next one. Oh, oh! Before you go, the link is in the description for this uh, spreadsheet. Goodbye.